greetings for the day dear students in my second lecture on alkaloids today i'll discuss the structure or the constitution of ephedrine ephedrine occurs along with five other alkaloids namely pseudoephedrine methyl ephedrine methyl pseudoephedrine nor ephedrine and nor pseudoephedrine in the genus ephedra Although all these six ephedra alkaloids were found to be the constituents of the Chinese drug mahuang, the ephedrine was among the most important ones. Ephedrine has pronounced mediatic action. It is a heart stimulant and as a result of its stringent action, it is used in hay fever, uh, bronchial and asthma. Generally, it is given orally. Now we uh, discuss the ephedra equistina. Ephedrine is a naturally occurring central nervous system stimulant obtained from the plant ephedra equisatina. The stem of the ephedra plant contains 1 to 2 percent of alkaloids that contain up to 90 percent of ephedrine along with other varieties found in the United States and sections of Asia. Now we start the constitution of ephedrine. First as we know is the molecular formula with the help of elemental analysis and molecular weight determination it has been found that the molecular formula of ephedrine is C10H15NO. Now on treatment with nitrous acid, ephedrine gives nitroso compound indicating the presence of a secondary amino group that is the nitrogen atom present in the molecular formula of ephedrine is in the form of secondary amino group. On benzoylation, it forms dibenzoyl derivative thereby meaning that the oxygen atom is present as hydroxyl group since one benzoyl group is introduced at NH group and the other at the OH group. On oxidation, ephedrine gives benzoic acid suggesting that it is a mono substituted benzene. Now with the help of these ongoing points, we can propose the structure of ephedrine. The first point is ephedrine when heated with HCl, it forms methylamine and propionophenone. As we can see in this reaction, when ephedrine is treated with HCl, we get methylamine and propion, propiophenone. So, these two compounds are indicated as compound 1 and compound 2. So, these reactions suggest uh, that the ephedrine can have the one of the following two structures that is the structure 1 and the structure 2. Now, we have to decide which one is the actual structure of ephedrine. So, to ascertain the probable structure of ephedrine, we further uh, do some chemical reactions. Second reaction is ephedrine hydrochloride on heating undergoes hydramine fission to form propiophenone, phenyl acetone and methylamine. Hydramine fission is characteristic of the compounds containing C6H5CHOH, CH, CH. 3 NHR groupings. So, if uh, ephedrine must be given the structure second, only then we can explain the formation of this product that is propiophenone, met methylamine and phenylacetone. So, we can say that the structure, the probable structure of ephedrine is the second one which is shown here in this equation. This structure, this proposed structure of ephedrine is supported um, by the its Hoffman exhaustive methylation to symmetrical methyl phenyl ethylene oxide that is when ephedrine is subjected to Hoffman exhaustive methylation which uh, we have shown in this reaction. In first step, ephedrine is treated with methyl iodide and in the second step, it is treated with AgOH. So, we the ring uh, we get this uh, quaternary ammonium compound which on heating 
uh, eliminates a molecule or of water and we get symmetrical methyl phenyl ethylene oxide now the structure proposed by the degradative means is further confirmed by its synthesis and optical isomer and so first we will see the synthesis of ephedrine this synthesis was given by Mansk and co-workers in 1929 and it is synthesized uh, we, uh, he, they synthesized racemic ephedrine by catalytic reduction of benzoyl acetyl 1 phenyl propane 1 2 dione in the presence of methylamine in methanol solution and this reaction is shown here in the form of the equation and we get the racemic mixture of ephedrine through this synthesis. Now, the further proof for the structure proposed structure of ephedrine by is given by its optical isomerism. The racemic ephedrine is resolved into optically active ephedrine by means of mandelic acid and the optical isomerism in ephedrine is shown in the following uh, figure. Since ephedrine has two dissimilar asymmetric carbon atoms marked by the asterisk or the stars, we know, we already know the asymmetric carbon atoms are the carbon atoms in which four valencies of carbon are attached to four different groups or atoms. So, in ephedrine, it has two uh, asymmetric carbon atoms in its structure. So, four optically active isomers that is two pairs of enantiomers are possible and actually all are known for example plus and minus ephedrine and plus and minus pseudo uh, psi ephedrines these are shown here in the first left hand side the the pair of enantiomer is the first is levorotatory ephedrine sorry uh, first is levorotatory that is minus ephedrine and the its mirror image is the plus ephedrine or dextrorotated ephedrine. They are a pair of enantiomers and on the right hand side the uh, here is shown the pair of psi ephedrine or pseudo ephedrines that is minus or levorotatory <coughs> pseudo ephedrine and dextrorotatory its mirror image is dextrorotatory pseudo ephedrine. Mm, ephedrine. So, with the help of optical isomerins, we further confirm the structure of ephedrine. But it is very important to note that only levorotatory ephedrine, that is minus ephedrine, and dextrorotatory, that is pseudo mm, ephedrine, occur in nature. Only two isomers occur, that is levorotatory ephedrine and dextrorotatory pseudo ephedrine, are found in nature. The racemic pseudo or psi ephedrine has also been synth synthesized in laboratory by Spath and co-workers in the following manner. Here yeah, is the reaction sequence for the synthesis of racemic pseudo ephedrine is depicted, but it is actually not found in nature. So, this was all about the constitution of ephedrine. Thank you. Have a nice day.